Hello, this is Trisha from Sandy and Auto, and today I have a small thrift store haul today. So this is a local thrift store. It's kind of small, but they get some really, really good items, and they were running a sale, and I picked up, um, well, you'll see a theme going in the sale <laughs> after I get through with this bag that I'm going to start with. Um, now, most of these items are going to be available as soon as you watch the video. If you're interested in anything, you can leave a comment or uh, you can email me. My email is in the description. And these items will start being incorporated into my live sales, which are every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time and Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I put out new content like this and when I go live for my sales. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. All right. So I am going to start here with, oh yes, this cute little basket. Now this is an Avon basket. But I loved the little glass, cute little gold metal handle. That's great all year round. And then I found this tin, which is an art kit. Or it was an art kit at one point. It's just an empty tin now. But this had one dozen bonded lead drawing pencils, Art Guild. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it has great graphics on it. Plus, it's a great handy tin to store things in. And, oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful paint job on this, I'm going to say, candle holder. Could use it as a little vase. Definitely could hold water, but maybe originally a candle holder, but isn't that a beautiful design? And then the base also has a really pretty design on it. And I don't remember if that was a single or a pair. So from the look of the box, it's kind of looking like it was a single. And then I picked up. This is a brooch. It is a um, giraffe. There we go. Loved the beautiful eyes on that. Really nice detailing. And then I picked this one up. This is so pretty with the little faux pearls and the gold on there. Nice brooch. Um, I'm not sure how old it is. I don't think super old, um, but it does have a little more weight to it than um, I would say jewelry from the 80s. So maybe that was from the 70s. And I've got another box here. They're so nice. They, they like to put uh, the jewelry in boxes. Very sweet of them. So this is a nice corded, um, necklace but it has this beautiful cloisonne um i'm going to say that's a peony on there and then we've got a blue tassel so that is a nice necklace and then i picked this one up look at that so we've got some sea beads up here really mini sea beads and nothing there but look at this pendant and on the back, it does say that this is Murano. So that is a beautiful Murano glass pendant. And then I picked this up. So we've got just a simple gold chain. I will look to see. That almost feels like it's... Okay, that might... Well, maybe not. Almost has that feel of like a a gold, but look at this beautiful cameo with the black back. Here is the back of it, but I just thought that was so pretty. And it really pops with the black background. 
Okay. Now this is a doll. She's not old because she's got the barcode and she's got this. She is a Hi, I'm Ginny Vogue Dolls, eight inch collectible dolls, but she is, oh, she is so cute. I had to grab her. Get her. She comes so nicely wrapped with the little paper around her, but look at her with her little poodle skirt. Look at that. Isn't she so cute? Little lace underneath. And then she's got her little dog with her. That was, oh gosh. Oh, goodness. <laughs> she was so cute. I could not pass her up. Okay, and that is it for that bag. Let's see what is in here. And I have got, look at this, for Halloween, this little wood carved, nope, maybe resin. Maybe that is a resin, but oh, look at the little, well, I guess he's in costume to be a lion. Loved that. And then I did pick up some fabric um, because, again, always on the lookout for fun fabric. But look at this, these glam women on here. I thought that was really cute. And then this one I picked up because it's got can't really, can hardly see them. Let me see if I can get this, get this band off of here. There we go. Look how cute this is. So we've got the little girls, their little outfits. Oh, that is so cute. And then I picked up, these are wooden eggs that are beautifully painted. There's one. Very dramatic on that one. So pretty. There's this one. I guess that goes that way. Might go that way. And then this little one, so pretty the way that they are painted. And then it came with one stand. <laughs> okay, that's that. Then we've got some of this gorgeous, um, let's see, this one says that it is silver plate and it is man. Oh, this is pool steel. Pool as in P-O-O-L-E. So that's a gorgeous one. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so if you'll remember, um, I guess I did one of these bags um, a while ago. I found one of these. Um, I think it's a yellow bird, uh, but this is a Fitz and Floyd with the bird on the handle. And I think it goes that way. There we go. Fitz and Floyd. So that is 1950s, 60s, 78, 1978. Wow. Who knew? I did not know, but that is really cool. So there is a yellow bird with that also. And then this I picked up. This does have Mexico on the back and it's kind of a tonal a style little trinket dish, but I love that little butterfly and the flower on there. And then I picked this up, and this is 
Well, it's not marked on the back, and it is a nappy, but it's very pretty with the pink on there, pink flowers. And that's a two-parter. See if the second part is here. Aha, I think so. There we go. So the beautiful silver plated, yep, it's got a little mark that could be shined out of there. Um, butter dish, but I'm always looking for these that still have the glass or crystal insert, depending on, this one I think is just glass. Um, but yes, you find a lot of these, but they don't have the glass part on them. So I'm always looking for the ones that still have it. And this one, okay, it does have a mark. Uh, this one says Oneida. So beautiful Oneida one. Okay, here is another one. Look at the beautiful engraving on that one. That is gorgeous. And this one, oh, there is, let's see, this one says um, Wallace, and it is the Baroque pattern from Wallace. And so, yes, they were running a sale on um, all of their, like, silver-plated stuff. And, yep, I picked up another butter dish because it did have the glass insert. So again, I just, I can't pass those up. And this one had a sticker on the back, but the sticker is gone. So not sure who made that, but it is beautiful. And then I picked up this little paperweight, this beautiful fish. Oh, I love the colors on the inside. And then this is marked with a sticker on the back that says um, Creations Continental. And then I believe that says Taiwan right there. So it's got some age to it. It does have a little bit of a chipped fin back there, but oh, that is so pretty. And then picked up some silver plated utensils. So this one is a really pretty pattern. And I'm not sure where I'm going to find who made that? Yeah, I'll have to do some looking on that one, but oh, that's a pretty pattern. And I've got this bag. What else is in here? And a little trinket box. There is a sticker on the back here um, that says Lefton. There we go. Lefton on this one. Beautiful little trinket box. There is the inside and this feels like it's a little porcelain box. And then we've got, oh, an apron. So cute. And all of these are little squares that are sewn on on that cute little apron and i've got another one of these silver plated servers okay got another apron I'll get in here so you can see that pattern. 
not sure what oh kitties that's what this one is this one is kitties let me get one so you can see there it is so that is a fantastic little kitty pattern and this is a nice wide apron gonna get good full coverage on that one and yeah nicely stitched we've got a pocket there And then this full ruffled little apron, so cute. And that one I don't think has any pockets. It's just a real cutie. One more apron, and this one I don't think is handmade. If I remember correctly, I'm not sure, but I think one of these, I don't see the tag now, but I think there is a tag on this one, but I love like the way it looks like a cute little summer dress. And oh yeah, here it is right here where my hand came up. So this is Grand Way. This was made, but I loved the style the sundress style okay so just one more bag to get through and oh yeah so i picked this up this is oh, it says something right here crafted in malaysia so this was made in Malaysia, and this is a little, I'm going to say porcelain shell. Look at the beautiful details on that. Oh, isn't that pretty? I love that. And then here is another one. Does that say, I'm sure this says Malaysia. Also, yes, Malaysia, beautiful blue. And then we've got the little pink accents there. Okay, and some more um, brooches. This is pretty with the little rhinestones on it. This one is coming out of the plastic there. Pretty with the little pearls. Oh, I've got another shell. I'm sure this one says Malaysia also. Look at this one. Oh my, beautiful colors. We've got this beautiful one with these like silver pearls on it and some rhinestones. This black one, oh, so dramatic with some rhinestones. Let's see, uh, this one's got just a pretty This one, oh, on the tag, they did write that it was pink coral on there. Nice one. And I'm going to have to put these back in the little plastic to keep them safe. Look at this beautiful amber one. And then this one was still in the box. This gorgeous rose. Oh, isn't that pretty? Even in the box, it sparkles so nice. And uh, yeah, so that was a really fun, <laughs> big variety there 
um, and some fun brooches to add in. And yeah, so um, again, well, I think pretty much all of these uh, or most of them will be available as soon as you watch the video. Uh, so again, if you're interested in anything, leave a comment or send me an email. And um, let's see, again, all these items will start being incorporated into my live sales Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern and Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.